we already have some rain so we can start forming our trees by pruning the trees already have some water to grow we still have some dryness so the injuries of the trees can heal and now we can form our trees biriba trees can grow into very large trees so i will top this tree to keep it small we want to collect the fruits with ease i didn't cut much but it's enough to stop the tree from growing higher and it has beautiful fruit set mm -hmm. that's a big yeah that one is big and there are 15 more on the tree Wow, looks perfect. So now I clean this queenie tree. Also this tree, it doesn't have branches this side. Mm -hmm. I think because of the guarumos here, it doesn't yeah. get sunlight at all from that side. Oh, yeah. So Maybe we should we the cut the guarumos, yeah. Good. Oh, there's a kepayang behind. Yeah. <laughs> is revealed. From here you have some overgrown yucca as well. Mm -hmm. And then yes, we are done. Mm-hmm. Easy peasy. <laughs> yes. Now it should grow mm -hmm. into this hole here. Mm -hmm. There. Yeah, I think it will peel out. Yes. Area. This durian is in full sun most of the day because the support plants lost a lot of leaves lately. So the leaves burnt. And now a new set of leaves coming out. I will put on a shade cloth to protect it from the sun. The tree still gets this gentle morning sun, but it will be protected at noon and in the afternoon. This one tree branched out at around two meters. And the next one in the row is growing up and very skinny, so we are going there to prune it. This is going to be a hard prune. This safu tree also branched out around two meters. Actually, it's flowering and it has fruit set now. The next one in the row is just growing up, so we are pruning it. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> this pruning was a lot better because we could keep some leaves to support the roots. Uh, it would be a lot better even if we cut it last year. <laughs> Fiji long gun often grows up to 7-8 meters before branching out. This prune will be ideal because I can make it hard enough so that it will branch out multiple branches but soft enough to leave leaves. like that.
This is our well. It's about six meters deep. We need to make it one meter more deep because we don't have enough water. I just made this stand that will go above the well so we can raise the gravel out from it. This is what we extracted from the well before hitting some big rocks. It's about half as what we expected, but now we reached the full depth of this well. Tiny pineapple. Now that the rains have started, we make a tour on our farm to decide which trees are that still need protection, which are the ones that have proper shade to light ratio, where we don't need any action, and which are the trees that are too shady. This tree is growing nicely, has good foliage and it has way too much protection from the sun. So now I will make a chocolate of here. I thin out about half of the shade. Now it has some extra light. We have two noni fruits on this noni tree, one that we planted out six months ago. These are the named of my mangoes that we detached from the mother tree. If you are interested in the video about this, you can find it in the description. And we are pruning it because we want it to branch out and go to the ground already pruned. So what I do now is I just take the top off from this and from that. This will promote the branching out of these mangoes so they will have a nice form already when we plant them out. I'll prune this durian tree a little bit. There have been pruning before already, but we still have some things. For example, we have these two branches, one over the other. And this is the thick one, this is the thin one. When fruits will hang from here, this branch is not in a good spot. So that's how they go one underneath the other so i cut cut the lower one here then we have these new shoots because of the rainy season is coming we don't need these we have two thick branches just above we have this thin one we don't really need it this is thin also, but there's no other branches on this in this direction, so I can leave it here. Here we have some stacking like this, and that one goes the same way. And here we already have two branches, kind of in the same direction, so we don't need this. And then up here, it's just way too dense. So I will start by cutting this, because just below we have another one. 
down here we have one and above it another one in the other direction also we have this a little bit thicker one and above we have that starting to take shape this looks like an extra for me because of how it goes on the outside crossing with the other branches then higher up here is way too dense this we definitely don't need up there above this one and this is a very thin branch and that one is going in the same direction so yeah I should either cut this one or that one. Since that one is thicker, I'll go with this. Maybe for now it's enough. Later, as these branches grow and get some weight, they will come down to be more perpendicular to the stem. Not going up, but going sideways. And when that happens, I can select a couple more of these branches with the tree forms. Another thing that can be done is to cut some of these branches in the beginning of each branch that goes out to make this area clean. That's where the fruits will hang. Also, when we have this branch and we have a branch that goes out that way, it goes in the exact same direction as this branch, which is in an angle to that branch. So these are like extra and out there. If you can see, they just cross out here. So I can cut it. Things get more clean like that. We could argue that that branch is already too low, but since there's not much going on on this side of the tree for quite some while, I leave it on. It gets enough light so it can develop to be more thick. So let's see the tree. Yeah, it's, it's much cleaner now than it was. We don't want to prune too much at once, so maybe I'll come back later for this one. It can happen that a tree starts to grow two competing main trunks. When that happens, we select one of the trunks and cut the other one back to prevent that it breaks later and to prevent the competition between the two main leaders.